Have you noticed a new trend in skincare? It seems like rather than multi-purpose products coming on the market, that there are new serums and boosters that feature one ingredient, maybe two, and they are specifically for a targeted area, a specific issue or concern that you may have about your skin. The question is, how do we know what these different ingredients do? And then how do we choose which one or if we need more than one, how do we know if they work nice together? That's what we're gonna talk about this week and for the following three weeks. I'm Michelle Fox from Michelle Fox Beauty and Michelle Fox Online. And we're starting out with hyaluronic acid. This is the buzzword that I see most often. And many products will include hyaluronic acid, but I'm talking about pure hyaluronic acid or a serum that features hyaluronic acid. I want to talk about what it is, what it does. Can we use it with other things? Do we really need it? And get to the, the root of that, all right? Our body produces hyaluronic acid. It is the fluid that is in our eyes, our joints, tendons, ligaments. It is not water. It is sort of a slippery fluid. And as we age, we lose that. And since we're losing it, the properties that it had or the benefits that it had, we're losing that as well. So it reminds me of the difference between treating the symptoms versus treating the cause. We lose hyaluronic acid, which makes our skin drier because hyaluronic acid hydrates. So we can add moisturizer to our skin. We do and don't stop. <laughs> That's very important. But it's even more effective to replace the hyaluronic acid that we have lost. It is different than our daily moisturizer that we're adding. We are replacing something that is lost. Does that start to feel a little bit different? Hyaluronic acid, it uh, hydrates, but more than that, it holds moisture in and as we lose that and our skin becomes um, drier, but also just more susceptible then to the environment, um, we want to not only, you know, put, put like a Band-Aid on it by moisturizing, but ideally we would like to replace the hyaluronic acid itself. So what makes it very unique in my thinking is that, like I said, the consistency is not watery as much as it's uh it's a liquid for sure but see how it doesn't come out in drops it like comes out you know like in long drips <laughs> more like strings um it, it has a very unique consistency sort of like aloe and you just use about six or eight drops you want to find a serum or a product that features this as its main ingredient Products that have hyaluronic acid in it are great. But if, if you want to get the benefits that I'm talking about right now, you want to have a product that is specifically your hyaluronic acid add-on, your booster, okay? And the hyaluronic acid, like I said, is just a, a unique consistency. It will, um, you put six or eight drops in your hand, you put it on your face right after you clean. If your face is still wet when you apply it, that's even better because it's going to hold that moisture in longer. So let's talk about what hyaluronic acid in your body, what hyaluronic acid in a tube actually does. And I think that it will become more apparent whether it's something that you need or not. So the first thing that it does is that it hydrates the skin's surface. We all need hydration, even if we are oily. So everyone benefits from hyaluronic acid. Everyone can use it. There are no, um, no cautionary statements, even if you are acne prone, even if um, you, know, you have combination skin or rosacea, doesn't matter. Everyone can use this. It is going to hydrate the skin surface. And even though it has the word acid in it, it is very gentle. It is safe. The next thing that it does is it helps protect your skin barrier. Like I said, as we lose the hyalur hyaluronic, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, our skin is more susceptible to 
drying and flaking and just getting um, sores or cracks or uh, bruising and all kinds of things. So this is protecting, is replacing that barrier. Um, other things would be acne and rosacea, skin issues. Hyaluronic acid is in our whole body, not just our face, but talking about the face, when we put that back, then we're putting that barrier back so that we are not as susceptible then to these things, these triggers that could cause skin issues, skin irritation. And it also can temporarily <laughs> plump up fine lines and wrinkles. And I say temporarily because it's not a wrinkle treatment. There are products that are wrinkle treatments like retinol. But hyaluronic acid is moisture. And if you took a raisin and put it in a cup of warm water, that raisin is going to plump up and the surface will look smoother. But if you take the raisin out of the water and let it dry out, it's going to go right back to looking like a raisin. So in the same way, the hyaluronic acid will plump up the area because it is providing moisture and it's holding in that moisture and it will smooth the area just because it is plumping it up all good things, but it is not a wrinkle treatment. So what I love about it is that it is gentle enough for everybody. It can benefit everybody. It is super quick and easy to apply. It feels really good. <laughs> it's just a feel good kind of a thing, but it can also be combined with anything else. When you're using retinol for example, there are lots of things that you can't use. You know, don't use vitamin C, don't use, you know, a facial peel. This is something that you can add to your regimen without concern. It is gentle. It can be added. You don't have to worry about what else you're using. It can even be combined with other ingredients that we're going to continue talking about in the coming weeks. So this is like the base, the start, the starting point, I would say. If you want to try one of these trendy serums, I would start with the hyaluronic acid, HA. The one that I use actually has two kinds of hyaluronic acid, like two molecular levels. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. But there's a smaller size molecule that really uh, soaks in and works at the inner level. And then there's a larger molecule that stays on the skin surface. So this is a really powerful, um, and this is com combined with ceramide. And I have read that dermatologists suggest that you look for um, a hyaluronic acid that also has ceramide and or peptides just because they work really, really well together. But like I said, this is different than a product that says, you know, contains hyaluronic acid. So for example, now there are other cleansers, moisturizers, uh, night creams, wrinkle fighters, other things that will include hyaluronic acid, but they, that is not the key ingredient. You want to find something where hyaluronic acid is the key ingredient. You want to add it to your regimen after you've cleansed while your face is still wet. And it doesn't matter what your skin type is, you will benefit from it. I think you'll really enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with trying it for a while and seeing if you see results. And next week, we're going to talk about the uh, resveratrol when that one is your wrinkle fighter. OK, so if you've tried hy hyaluronic, <laughs> it's a mouthful. If you've tried hyaluronic acid or you're currently using it, let us know in the comments what you think about it. If you've seen results, if it's something that you're sticking with, like you feel like, yeah, I use it. I love it. I can't live without it. Or if it's something where you're like, mm, I'm not sure if I really need it or not. I'm not seeing any any results. I'm all about, you know, free speech. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Uh, that's how we we benefit. We can hear each other's experiences and decide if this is something that we want to add or not. But like anything else, we can try it. And if we don't love it, we can move on. But I, I really think that you'll enjoy it. Like I said, what I love most about it is just how unique the feel is, and I'm not going to lie, the fact that it has, that it's a dropper, it must just be the kid in me that likes variety or something new, bright, shiny, and new, but I am more likely to use this consistently than other things that I've added to my regimen in the past. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I think it's because of the dropper. Uh, and so that reminds me of this. When you add something new to your regimen, Sometimes we can then drop 
the same old, same old. So we're so excited about this new thing and it's hydrating. And so then we stop using our daily moisturizer or our night cream. Don't do that. All right. This is an add on. It's a booster. It's something that you add to your regimen. It doesn't replace your moisturizer in any way, shape or form. You will be doing yourself a disservice if you stop using your regular regimen. We all need an awesome cleanser, moisturizer, especially as we age. And if you can throw in an age fighting ingredient, all the better. This is something you would add to it. So I'm going to give you a link for the exact product that I use if you would like a recommendation. But I'm telling you what, it's so red hot, you're going to find it no matter where you go. <laughs> Whatever line of skincare you're excited about. I'm sure they have a hyaluronic acid available. And if not, and you need a suggestion, you know, we can chat. So if you got anything out of this, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to this channel, share it with a friend. And like I said, next week, we're going to talk about resveratrol and it's going to be really fun. At the end of the four weeks, I'm going to determine if I had to choose one, if I had to choose one of the four, what would it be? So are you dying to find out? <laughs> I don't even know what it is because I there are a couple that I still haven't tried. So we're going to learn together. So thanks so much for your time and attention. And I hope to see you next week.